with songs and laughter to behold. Our story starts in Dingley Dell, a place that you will soon know well. So sit back please, we'll start with a bang. In other words, please meet the gang.
and then I can sell the land and make loads of money. <laughs> right, I want you two to make life difficult for Widow Trot. I want you to poison her well.
doctor. All things to all men. Entertainer and magician to the kings and queens of Europe.
help me? Uh, who are you and where did you come from? I've escaped from the giant who lives in giant land. I was captured and carried away by him, but I managed to escape and I want to find my way back home. Please help me. Well, how did you get in one of these big weeds growing in our garden? These aren't weeds, they're beanstalks. I just climbed down one of them to escape, but I'd be lost! Uh, Mama! 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 <laughs> What's all that noise at back? Oh, shit! Where did all the beans come from? <coughs> they're not beans, Mother, they're bean stalks. And this young lady, this gorgeous young lady, has just climbed down one of them to escape from a giant. Giant? Landy? Escape? We've got enough troubles of our own. We've got no cow, the rents do, and we've got no money. Send her away, Jack. We've got enough troubles. Did you say you have no money? No, no money. money? Well, I know a way to make you very rich. You do? Yes. Up in Giant Land, the giant has a hen which lays golden eggs. Golden, golden eggs? Every day. Ooh, I'd like to go work on one of those eggs. Perhaps we could help each other. When I escaped, I had to leave behind my special friend, the singing harp, who knows the way back to my home. If I help you to capture the hen, will you help me to rescue my friend? You'll be very rich. Will you help me, please? To go up to, to Giant Land? Yes, it's the only way. And you'll be very rich. Will you help me, please? Of course you will, won't you, Jack? <laughs> oh, all right, I'll do it. Show me the way. Now, which one did I come down? This one, no. This one, no. This one, I don't know which one it is now. Never mind, we'll climb them all if we have to. We'll go try that one over there first. Mother, don't you worry. I'll make you really proud of me. And soon we'll be back for the head that lays the golden eggs and all our troubles will be over. Oh, well, you take care and good luck. You know, I don't even know your name. It's Isabella Louise Anastasia Geraldine. But all my friends call me Jill. Right, Jill, off we go. Bye. Bye.
It's empty. No more tea. It's all gone. Well, it must be time for tea. Let's take a look at the time. Oh, it's four o'clock. Yes, but that's four o'clock the day before yesterday. Your watch is always two days late. Well, you were the one who told me to put butter in the works. Well, it was Miss Butter. More tea, please. No more tea. It's all gone.
must have more decent birthday parties. They're such good fun. <laughs>
history of the whole universe and other places. <laughs> Pretend you're busy because you'll want us to buy pizza. 
beans. And lots of happiness. How about you, dearie? Shall I read yours? It's very dark tea, this. That's because it's cool. <laughs> Tune you wish. That food's coming handy. 
I didn't want to think of any other man being granted your favours. Oh, well, I can tell you, no one's ever been granted my favours. <laughs> Is that for me? Oh, yes. Why, it's just a small token of my devotion for you. Now, I was wondering, should we go on a picnic sometime? Ooh, that would be very nice. <laughs> but you see, I'm all behind. Yes, I can certainly see that.
to marry you just to get you out of the cottage, but he has no intention of marrying you, and he'll leave you in the lurch. Well, the low down, scheming, conniving bah! Bah! Oh, 
get made out of the old Well, one of those as well. Come on, get on with it. Well, we don't need one of them. Get that here. Hold that there. Look, the way I see it, right, is you get a tape measure. Yes. You land the pole on the ground. Yes. Measure uh, with a ruler. Done. Brilliant Stop. idea.
two competitors. Now we've got three. Three! Three! A singing dog, Ben and Jill Bannon. I don't go Barry and Meg. Well, I don't think we can have a singing competition with three people, do you? Yes. Well, I think we should ask the audience. I think they should join in with us. Yes. I can't hear you. Well, if we're going to have a singing competition, you're going to have to do a lot.
last at last for heroes' prize, closing of the treasured prize. We find our brave intrepid pair within the giant's lofty lair.
going to put this egg away somewhere safe so it doesn't get taken. And you, you are coming for me as well. Really? Really. Uh, now follow me. Okay.
Okay. Well, we do thank you for being a wonderful audience. I have to say that you're our third most wonderful audience because each performance, I think, has been absolutely wonderful and the crowd we've had in each time has been brilliant and helped us to get along. So thank you very much. I'd also like to thank, because being a good you sit now, we didn't have all this lot up here, the, the cast, they're a wonderful lot to work with. Someone said to me this afternoon, it must be so much hard work. I didn't lie, like rough or whatever it is, didn't lie, my mum told me never to lie. They aren't hard work, it's just great fun. And I think you, as you've been so good to us, I think you, that will have come over to you how much fun we do have when we are doing this. So, thank you. Can I just hear it once more for my lovely time? Thank you.
Chiong Mum for coming and support. Thank you.